They've won Tonys and Oscars and Emmys and Grammys. There's no red carpet because they're home in their jammies. From Melrose Place to Broadway to Janeway and her crew. Let Seth and James bring all the stars to you. Anywho. They're entertaining everyone. So who's gonna grouse? Just sit right back and you'll hear some tales on Star. That was Liz Calloway. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Starts in the House. It is just me, Seth Dudeski, today because James had nothing to do with the Legally Blonde reality show and he knew I was going to be hogging the mic the whole time. So, peace out, James. I actually changed my little name, Chiron, to just Seth. Got the hell rid of him. Jonah, I love the pink. I'm also wearing pink in honor of Legally Blonde. By the way, none of the women are. They're all like, we're boycotting it. So, I'm the only one in pink. Not cool. Um, this is Starts in the House. What the hell is Starts in the House? You may be asking. I'll tell you. It's a live stream that James and I started when everything shut down in March to raise money for the Actress Fund because we knew everyone was going to be out of work. What is the Actress Fund? The Actress Fund is a misnomer, which is an SAT word, which Elle Woods would know. Would she? Was she actually smart? Talk about that later. The point is a misnomer means that it's, uh, it's mislabeled. It's not just for actors. The Actress Fund is for everyone. So yes, actress and your dancers for shizzle, but anyone backstage, no matter what you do, wardrobe, hair, makeup, anyone front of house, box office, um, house managers, also lighting designers, stage managers, music directors, everybody that works in film and television, no matter what you do, actor, cameraman, catering, and all across the country. So like New York, California, but everything in between, anyone can go to actressfund.org and say, you know, I can't pay my rent, I can't pay my health insurance, my medical bills, how do I get health insurance? The Actress Fund will help you with everything, giving you money and also helping you with the social services. So it's actressfund.org if you need any help. If you can give some help, if you can help donate, please donate to the Actress Fund. You go to starsinthehouse.com, it's super easy. And then you're gonna get a receipt. Once you get the receipt, forward it to donations at starsinthehouse.com. And then I'll send it to one of um one of our L contenders tonight, and they'll read out your donations like the Jerry Lewis telethon, unless you're too young to know what that is. That's devastating. But the point is, I will send it to them and they will read it out loud. What else do I have to say? Um, already so many comments. Wow. Some hi Seth. Yeah, I agree. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. By the way, Aaron works on the show. Aaron, you're not allowed to be starstruck. Can you actually work on the show? Not cool. Um, wait, James. Oh, James. Wait, wait, you don't have to pretend you're not here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so weird. It really is true, though. It's like this is, I knew that I'd just be sitting here the whole time like this. Smiling. Yeah. Okay, stop upstaging me. But you have to tell everyone I will. I how much money we've raised so far. We have raised, according to James's. Since March, just because of your donations, $569,870. $569,870. That's a lot of money considering we don't have any corporate sponsors or nothing. This is just people like you watching the show and donating five, 10, 25 bucks. So it's really incredible. Sadly, it's like not at all what the Actors Fund needs. Like it's like this much, but they're, they're doling out, I think, like. 10 times their usual amount because it's so horrific. So anything you can give really is greatly appreciated. Um, even if you can't give money, what everyone should do right now, which would super help subscribe to this channel starts in the house because it just helps when we could say to people, we have all these subscribers like this particular video because there's Mandy in the background. Talk about upstaging. Hi, good girl. She's no bruiser. Um, anyway. Oh yeah. So like this particular video, cause it'll help with the algorithms and, um, wait, I said subscribe. Oh, and just share it. So, just copy and paste what you're watching right now and put it on whatever social media you have on Facebook or Twitter. Just the more people that know about it, the more we'll get donations. Um, is there anything else I have to cover? Uh, I guess just before I forget, tomorrow night we're going to have the best of our Votathon. You can see our Votathon poster behind me. We had an all day show on election day from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. with a million, a million stars to help us ease anxiety. We raised a lot of money that day too. So we're going to show highlights from that tomorrow. Plus, we're going to open with Darius the Haas from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and his brand new single. So we're going to have Darius the Haas. He's the singing voice of, what's that guy's name? Velvet? Velvet Fog or something? He's the singing voice. Um, and then Saturday is a reunion of all three original Pippins, from John Rubenstein to Dean Pitchford to Michael Rupert. They all played Pippin. And the man who wrote Pippin himself, and of course, Wicked, Stephen Schwartz. That's Saturday night. Okay, let us get to all the amazing women that are gathered 
Today, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is a reunion of the reality show Legally Blonde, one of the worst names ever. Legally Blonde, The Search for the Next L. Oh, oh, God, I still hate it. Um, okay, here they are, some of our amazing contestants. Please welcome, Ms. Oh, wow, nice perm, Autumn. I'll bring on Autumn first. Hi, Autumn. Hey. Hey, nice perm. This Cassie, you haven't seen him for is it natural? Get back to you. Yeah. Cassie, you haven't seen him forever. Cassie S, as we called her. Hi, Cass. Hello. Good to be here. Wow, your hair looks amazing. I love it. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I like the blunt cut. I like the color. Natalie, who I also haven't seen in forever. Natalie Lander. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Thanks Hi. for having me. I'm so excited to see you. Um, I'm so excited to see you. Hi. Oh, my God. All the way from... <laughs> All the way from the West Coast, Rhiannon. Hi, Rhiannon. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Haven't seen you guys in so long. Um, and then, oh, by the way, there's so many mothers here. It's hilarious. You were all, like, basically 14 years old, prepubescent, and now, like, you're all mothers. It's hilarious. Basically, all mothers. Um, and Not now, the, well, sort of, like, on the on the way. I spoke to God, Natalie. You're about to give birth. Oh, um, okay. and, <laughs> and how about the fabulous Emma Zachs? Oh Emma, I feel like I have seen you on the Upper West Side. So you, I've maybe seen more recently than the others. Probably. But still, still, it's been uh, like a long time. And then, um, what the hell is that? And then, oh, there. <laughs> and then the fabulous Lena, or should we say Selena Carvajal? Wait. <laughs> it was such a big reveal and then nothing. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hi. Hold on, I just want to text Jonah one thing. You guys, so listen, let me warn you about this show. Because we're on StreamYard, um, if anyone talks at the same time, basically everything cuts out. So <laughs> if you want to talk, it's always helpful if you sort of like Crazy. raise your hand. And and I'll also be sort of saying your name because we're on SiriusXM. We, we rebroadcast on the radio. And basically when we're on the radio, it just sounds like a bunch of people talking. So it's, I may be like, is that so, Autumn? So just know I'll be like sort of quoting who are, hey, Emma. Uh, but anyway, don't uh, talk over each other. Okay, so Legally Blonde, Search for the Next Elwood. Wood. So I, we got to first talk about the how it all happened. My version of the story is Amanda Lippitz, who's one of the producers on the show, was like, hey, um, you know, we're going to do a reality show to replace Elwood's Woods and Legally Blonde. And she got a couple people together. How did you all, who has the craziest story for getting involved? Because they're all weird. Some people were sort of ringers. Some people did open call. Rhiannon, you did open call, right? Because you were like 19 in Utah. Yeah, I did. So I was in... Los Angeles, I was going to school at the time, and I was like, I'm gonna be Elle Woods. I saw the um, pre-Broadway run in San Francisco, and then the open call came up, and my roommate was like, you have to go, and I was like, definitely, I'm gonna be Elle Woods. So I went and did the open call with Natalie and Cassie. We were all there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were all in LA together at that open call, and it was a couple of days long, two days long, three days long, two. Really? It's a blur couple days yeah because there was like the first day and we all went and then they did like callbacks the next day and then you had to go and like do like the interview to make sure like you would be good on tv that interview <laughs> that well, there, were crazy. Crazy. Yeah, there was an interview to know if you're good on tv but they also had a psychiatric interview like living yeah. in a small space where you murder each other so it's sort of a double you had two different interviews right Yes. Well, once they were like, okay, we, like, we think we want on the show. Then they sent us all to the, um, the therapist or whatever and had a psychoanalyzed. Is that the right word? Psychoanalyzed. Yeah. 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 Psycho is right. Okay. So you were <laughs> open call, Natalie and Cass went, Emma, you had already done, you'd already done Gypsy on Broadway, right? I did uh, La Caja Fall. La Caja Fall. So, cause you, so you originally were a man. That, no, actually, wait, where, <laughs> what were you in? Who'd you play in La Cage? You were one of like the town sassy I, women, yeah. And then I understudied uh, the, Anne. the young, yeah, exactly. I actually forgot her name. Um, yes, Anne, I understudied Anne. So you done Broadway, you guys were total beginners, and then Lena, you had done like big national tours at that point. Had you, had you done Broadway yet? I'd done four Broadway shows, I was close. So you done four <laughs> Broadway shows at that point. Wait, so I know you did. I know you did Cats, Cats, Forty Second Street, Dracula, and Tarzan. That adds up to one show. Anyway, so the point. <laughs> come on, people. Cats, Dracula, 
Tarzan, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. Okay, so you've done four shows. Forty at that second point. Street. <laughs> okay, forty second Street. I take it back. I take it back. Um, and yet, is there a plot? Not really. Okay, all I'm, you, you have been like auditioning for everything at that point, right? Yeah, I had but been you auditioning hadn't... for the show for Margot, and then they oh, were like, God. "Fuck Margot, come for this." No I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't book that, and I just used the F bomb already. Good evening. That's all right. Good evening. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You're a mother now. You can say whatever the hell you want. I'm oh, off so, duty, so I can. All right, you're off duty. Someone's watching the kid, or no? Just it's, no. He's fine. Uh, He'll put himself. To bed. No, I'm kidding. My husband is with him. Up for grabs. Okay, so you clowns, you all audition, and then it was sort of like a final callback where it was narrowed down to the final. What was the number? Fifteen? No, ten. It was the twenty, right before oh. the before that and that was the i think that was like the most salacious part because the cameras didn't catch that but basically they had the top 20 of us but they kind of already knew who was going to be in the top 10 right and then it was really awkward at the hotel and it was really awkward at the open call when they had all the, all the girls cast as background oh. wasn't, it, wasn't it though they weren't sure there were like 15 of us at the hotel though. And then we weren't sure who the top 10 were actually going to be. Right. Yeah. But then there was that day we showed up and a hundred girls were there, but we already knew we were like part of this special pack. They, did, they wanted it to look super competitive. And if people don't know, you guys were put into the empire hotel and who sort of had the biggest, cause I would have had it. Who had the biggest freak out when you were like, Oh my God, we're all going to be in the same room. Who was like, I'm so not having it. Emma. <laughs> Emma and Autumn. Wait, so Emma, you like, can I just leave my Upper West Side apartment? What happened? I, I, I was like, this is going to either go very well or very badly. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and they had, and I don't know. I remember coming into the room and it was like, cupcakes and sprinkles. And I was like, oh my God, my bed is right next to somebody else. And our heads yeah. were all together. Yeah, like, it was, yeah. It was, it was, our bed was like this. Very intimate. So the, the beds were like in a star position, sort of, so all the heads were together. And when you well, like, everyone, like two beds, every two beds sat like an L, and then both of your heads were like at the top. Rihanna, and they it was sat L like it. I was L, L words. <laughs> and it was a banquet room. It wasn't even like a room room. It was, it was just supposed bar. to be for like, yeah, weddings or something. It was, <laughs> it was, a, open it was a bar. It was the bar. <laughs> Because it was the breakfast, like the refrigerator. That was the bar. <laughs> Wait, Autumn, on your the mic is floor. your mic is so much softer than everyone. I'm asking Jonah how to fix your mic. Can you make Autumn louder? I don't know why your mic. Been asked to be louder, so. I know you're old school. Hold on, check the private chat. But Jonah will help. Jonah, okay. help Autumn. Um, okay, so hold on. So it was an open bar in the middle of the room, inappropriate. And then you guys were all in one place. Cassie, where are you from? Are you from New York or did you come in from somewhere else? I came in from Los Angeles. Uh, I'm, I'm born and bred from Los Angeles. Uh, and I came with Rhiannon and Natalie. We were at the same audition. And then I, I too passed the psych exam. And then they, <laughs> they flew us to New York. And then we were sort of like held hostage at, at the hotel pre-Empire. We were at another hotel. Oh, and that was like before the hundred girl day. Mm -hmm. And if people don't know about the held hostage, literally, they were not the girls were not allowed to what read a newspaper, know the time. You weren't allowed to know what time it was. Oh my god! Yeah. What about no phones? cell phones? No, no cell, cell phones. phones. They took my well, magazines too because they were like they don't want us talking about anything current. Right, uh, and music? no iPods, no mm -hmm. iPods, right. no music. Hold on, I just want to make sure. Wait, I'm still hearing a little bit of an echo. Joan, are you listening to this? Sorry, hey Autumn. Oh, try putting on headphones. Do you have? Um, I just realized I don't have the right headphone jack. Oh no, Autumn. No. We Is don't mine echoing? As Elwood's. Um, <laughs> where's it echoing? You know, I can find out what's echoing here. I'm going to do an experiment. We'll just edit this out of the radio show. So hold on, I'm, I'm muting everybody. Do I hear an echo? No, so hold on. So that means it may be Natalie. So hold on. I'm going to unmute everybody, but Natalie. Do I hear an yeah. echo? Natalie, maybe you. Hold on. Oh. Natalie? Echo? Echo? Actually, echo? I've never heard, never heard clearer sound. Oh, oh we just need you louder. So just be the hell near it. Where's your microphone? 
Well, uh, I don't know. It's a new iPad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you have to go into your uh, your microphone setting. So go, okay. do you see your settings? It says cam mic. Yep. And then go to audio. Yeah. And then go down and do, is it stereo audio? Yeah. Do you have echo cancellation or? I do have echo cancellation. I automatically adjust. Okay, click automatically adjust uh, microphone volume. Click that off. Okay. And then you'll see a little thing that says mic volume beta. Yep. And then you can kind of play with where it is on the scroll. Should I go to level 11? Yes. <laughs> All right. Just, just that cheers. Okay, so people don't know, I also got to deconstruct <laughs> Legally Blonde on MTV while it was happening. So I'm going to show you some of my clips. Natalie, this is where I make fun of your look. I don't know if you remember this, but I'm obsessed with this. This is me busting. Wow. Emma, I don't know who you gave links to, but my head is going to come off because people keep coming into the studio. Oh, my God. Emma's like, watch me on this show. Here's the private link to inside. It's starsinthehouse.com. <laughs> oh, my God. Keep this thing. Random people showing up. At the show, I'm like, who are these women watching? <laughs> and I, I know you're, uh, you're ditzy right now for various reasons. We'll discuss later. Here we go. This is Natalie. One, two, three, Nat. Okay. First of all, I want to say I love Natalie's hairstyle this week. I loved it even more when it was worn by Blossom. Molly Ringwald. Childcatcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Anybody? Uh, okay. Come on. You know what that <laughs> was? You know what that was? Was that interview had been taped after they bleached my hair blonde. So they put me in, they took my clip in extensions and just clipped them here and put a hat on my head so that it looked like my old hair. Oh, so it wasn't even your, your hat. They just gave it that stupid look. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. They were like, we don't know what to do. And they were like, here, we'll clip these on and then put the hat over it. And it looks like hair. And I looked crazy. <laughs> By the way, for, for those who don't recognize uh, Lena slash Selena, you were much more red. Weren't you much more redheaded then? Yeah, but I, I during COVID, I was trying to go blonde <laughs> because I'm a natural blonde and I didn't want to have to deal with dyeing my hair dark um and it backfired and it just made it flame red so i tried to go back dark and now it won't go back it's like it wants to be red right now i don't know why it just won't go oh, i have a I picture want to of you be raven <laughs> this is you with your red hair with my two nieces who are obsessed with legally blonde remember this this is backstage at my broadway 101 <gasps> oh look how oh, cute so oh look i was so pretty <laughs> What the? Uh, okay, so hold on. So we're back to the crazy ass hotel. So everything's taken away from you. So was anybody, so Cass, you were so far away from LA. Were you having, I'm a homesick panic attack? So many, yeah. <laughs> How much crying? So much crying. Who was the biggest cry baby besides me? <laughs> well, because I was like, these hours are too, because we were there for 10 hours. I'd be like, I just want to go home. So I was always a weeping and a wailing. I mean, you were so young, Rhiannon, you're only 19. And by the way, Lauren was supposed to be, there's just some people that couldn't make it tonight, but Lauren was supposed to be here. She was only 18. She must have been yeah. sobbing her head off nonstop, wasn't she? She no. cried a lot. I think I mean, we all on. cried a lot. At some yeah. Point. I feel like everyone had their breaking point mm -hmm. at some point during the whole time we were there. Yeah. This is um this is to me the most horrific thing because like one of the big things that everyone had to work on was like sustaining the last note and so much better and it was like it, it was so di I, I, it was such a difficult thing to do and to me so not worth the stress of it but here's a montage of the anxiety oh no oh, I'll even dress in black and white see I have not begun to buy can you go on um, a lot of girls have trouble holding out the 16 bars because after singing a song with that high energy you barely have breath to sing the song so to hold out a note that that's not that's that high for that long is a little bit ridiculous but if you can do it that's why you're here i am so much better than <laughs> um, it didn't resolve. There's not just giving you anxiety to watch. Yes, I mean, yes. So yes, yes. I might okay. have dry mouth right now. <laughs> no, I'm so, angry. so let's talk about. So you guys were so young. So who actually does? So wait, Rianne and you have. Do you have two kids now? Yeah. 
two boys. <laughs> oh my God, you were so young. Uh, and then who else has a kid? Autumn. Yes. You have one. One so far, yeah. How old? Five and a half. He's very specific about the half. I know we all are. Yes. And then the older you get, I just round down 10 years. Yes. Um, <laughs> wait, so Autumn, I asked, I asked Autumn to sing a lullaby to her kid. What are you actually, what are you going to sing for us? I wanted you to sing something kid related. I Yes. Well, I, I tried to get tracks together and couldn't. So I'm just going to sing a little acapella. What a, Dedicated. I, what's your son's name? Spring? Son, yeah, <laughs> Winter? Yeah, yeah. I married um, a man named Winter and we named our kid Summer and we're just waiting for spring. Um, no. <laughs> when, is, when he call me. Okay, go on. <laughs> His name is Lincoln. And this is, is weird. Okay, but I'll buy. <laughs> Wasn't he in South Pacific, by the way? <laughs> was I in South Pacific? It wasn't he in South Pacific? Oh, no. That was, yeah, no. That was, I was dating someone else during the show, but I didn't marry that person. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> I thought you were with Paolo's job, but he's gay. All right, keep no. going. Did, did anybody marry the person they were dating when we were doing the show? Look at Emma's face. Rhiannon, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was with James, and now we're married. So I win. Oh, see, yeah. <gasps> Yay. Thank you. I Thank did you. marry the guy that I was on tour with with Legally Blonde. <gasps> Who did he play? Uh, he was the head carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the role of the head carpenter. The role of the head carpenter. <laughs> Rhiannon, I forgot you did the tour. Who did you play on tour? Uh, Margo and Understudy L. Perfect. The quirky, quacky, yeah. quirky. Um, all right, Autumn, let's hear your lullaby. Oh, oh, just doing. Okay. Yeah, just hit it. You want me to give you a pitch? Sure. Pick one. Okay, I'm gonna take myself off screen, and all the ladies are gonna watch you, just like the audition. Oh God. He just disappeared. All right. Nope. <laughs> Get it, Autumn. You got this. Um, okay. I. I mean, I. We're pretty plain Jane. I either sing "Twinkle Twinkle Little so uh, Star" to him, or "Good Night My Someone." And um, either way, it makes him sad. So I don't do it every night. Makes him like Original key. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if it's a B. Arthur version. Good, good night. Okay, good night, yeah. my someone. Good night, my love. Sleep tight, my someone. Sleep tight, my love. Our star is shining, its brightest light. So good night, my someone. Good night. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. <laughs> Does that ever work? Just screaming sleep in someone's face? No. Well, you know, he really won't let me sing. He's like, he's never been interested in actually like in the womb. I remember having an audition and I, co I couldn't sing a note because I was pretty proud. I was like, I don't know. I, I was definitely in my beginning of my third trimester and I kept trying to hit a note and he would put all of his appendages just like, no. And then a baby, I have a video of him. I was at a sound check and he's captivated by everyone singing, just like oh, clapping, sweetest little baby. And I went up on stage and I had um, a babysitter with me and she put him in the little car carrier and I started singing. <laughs> and he goes, no, no sing mommy. No, too young, too young. No, 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 no. Just not having it. Audra McDonald's daughter said when when Zoe was a toddler, she said, Mommy, your singing makes my ears bleed. <laughs> so you're in good company. There we go. Um, okay, so you know, when we were doing the reality show, like, you know, I actually was able to keep I didn't have an earpiece. I don't know why they didn't give me one, but thank God. But poor Dennis had one, Dennis. the choreographer. 
And, you know, they would be like, you need to tell the girls you're dancing for your lives. Like these bizarre quotes. And he was mortified. He actually refused to say it. But is there anything you guys said that you're like, oh, my God, I cannot. Because you forget there's a camera around. Is there anything you guys said that you're like, I'm, I so regret saying it? Everything. Literally everything. <laughs> yeah, Everything. It was also out of context, too. So it's hard to, like, say one thing because I'd be talking about potatoes somebody else so everything i think oh they were totally tricked by, well by the way selena what about your your um your relentless sexuality in high school how about that <laughs> i mean i don't take it back uh and uh i i mean it was a little bit much but i was just i thought it was hilarious and um, I, I thought it was hilarious when I was saying it, but then the way that they edited it, it looked like I was totally serious. And uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, dear. I oh, mean, no. are, you, are you referring to this? I'm certainly the rocker of the group. Uh, I have a rock band. They used to call me trouble in high school. I made out with everyone. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It's just hilarious. It is. <laughs> but like, it, it just makes me look, it, it made me look very, um, I get very sure of myself, which is fine. But, uh, but yeah, people didn't, actually... people back then, they didn't like it or the kids, they didn't like it. You know, we live in a different climate than we did back then. And I got oh, shit. Yeah. I got a lot of shit for being confident. And, uh, uh, you know, if you were confident, you were conceited and you were a bitch or something like that. And, uh, and now, and now the climate has changed. Now we are embracing our confidence more. We are understanding that it's important to be able to be proud of what we do or who we are. And, and so things have changed a lot, but back in the day, it was really tough because the, the fans of the show, they really gang up on me. They tell me how ugly I was. They tell me how untalented I was. They tell me what a whore I was. It's great. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's like, I can't stand that you're not allowed in the arts to be confident about what you can do. To me, it's like, I think you're able to go like, here's what I'm really good at. Here's what I'm not. Like, you're allowed to. I don't understand why it's looked down. I hate when people are like, I hate watching myself. I hate blah, blah. It's like, I, I just find it so... I don't know. Like, I, I, it just makes me crazy that, especially, it's much worse in England where you can't have any confidence, as far as I know. You have to be like, oh, I don't really do anything on stage. But yeah. even here, it's like, I don't know why, you, like, you girls were all so talented. I wish you could have been like, here's what I'm amazing at. Well, by the way, Emma, I loved you after the biking challenge because you would just quit smoking, right? Like Please two try. weeks before. Have you, are you still off the, the cigs? Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. 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 For years. For years. Wow. So people don't know. So two things I want to say. So I did this challenge based on Marissa Jarrett Winokur, which Marissa told me when she got hairspray, she sang through the whole score on a treadmill so she could get used to being out of breath and singing. So when they were get, asking me for episode, you know, advice, I said, well, let's do an episode where I put all the women on bikes and I make them sing. So everyone was belting up a storm. But Emma, like, why did you choose two weeks before the TV show to, to stop smoking? Because I booked the gig and I was like, I can't they're not going to let me smoke. I mean, I wouldn't even, couldn't even have a cell phone. Right. And I was like, I probably should stop smoking if I'm going to be like, you know, performing. I mean, seriously, even though I was auditioning at the time, I mean, it just, I mean, I was 25. I mean, you know, and there's my husband just walking through. I love, um, I love your husband. I love it. I know. It's like, no way. <laughs> you are like a national, actually international stream yard. It's like, whatever. I can just, there's no other path in the apartment. Okay. Now if people <laughs> haven't heard, if people haven't heard Emma Belting with no smoking, let's take a gander. Selena. What do you want? No one said what you want. Let's go get what you Sing like that and pedal. This is hard. This is really hard. What you want? Yes. I haven't smoked a cigarette in almost two weeks. And it is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. What you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. Damn, yeah. Quit, quit smoker, whatever I'm called. An yes. ex-smoker. Ex-smoker. I know the competition is going to get tougher and tougher. Am I going to want to smoke more? Probably. But I know that it means everything to my career to not smoke. <laughs> Oh God, that is so embarrassing! Oh my God! Oh, I think you're adorable. Amazing. Oh by the way, Lord, we were talking about someone who was 18 years old when you guys did it, and now she's 63 years old. Please welcome Lauren. Hi, <laughs> 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 yeah, Lauren. Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 
Lauren couldn't make it. I basically said, if there's any chance to make it, I said, just log on. Are you on your phone? No, no, I'm on my computer now. Excellent. Okay. Oh, Lauren, it's good to see you. Where are you, where are you coming in from? Um, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. How, how's the mask situation? Um, it's been, it's been fine, but I am really just getting over COVID. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. God, you got over it. How, I got how long? How did so you have it? Wearing we're wearing a mask. I took all the precautions. I still got it. I was only sick, really sick for five days. I had it for just over a week. And it's been 19 days since I've been sick. So I'm just out of quarantine. And I'm dealing with other family members potentially being exposed. And it's really crazy here. So <laughs> how's um taste of sense and smell? That didn't go away for me. I had um what I would say extreme taste and smell, like extreme sensitivity to food um, and flavors and whatnot. I had a rash all over my body. I had huge swollen lips, um, a bunch of crazy symptoms, yeah. So interesting, it affects so many people so differently. Oh, thank God you're okay. Oh, Lauren, I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you, yes, I feel very fortunate, very lucky to be on the other side of it. Now, you don't think you got it from Eating human flesh, do you? She is, you know, an accomplished performer, and I was excited to, you know, pick out her brain and see what she has to say about everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm picking it, brain. <laughs> Yummy. Still obsessed with that stupidity. Um, okay, so we got to go back to the exercise bike for a minute because, uh, Cass, this is where I was furious because if people don't know, you know, reality shows, there's – they're not reality. I mean, there's an aspect of reality and you guys really were auditioning for the show and you were talented and you were really, at least for me, you were getting, and I'm sure from Dennis getting accurate notes. Like we weren't manipulating anything, but then they'll cut stuff together to sort of um, make their agenda producers agenda clear, like making, you know, Lena seem extra confident. Cause I don't see you as an extra confident person. Like you were totally fun to work with. Like they'll just sort of adjust stuff. So, Oh, some, and Emma, one of your friends just joined. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> going to kill you. Um, anywho, where was I? So when I taught the harmony on the, when I taught the song, what you want on the bike, I taught all the different parts, including the harmony. But Cass, you remember they just showed you singing the harmony. So it sounded like you were crazy <laughs> off pitch and it was completely not true. It's kind of great. It's classic at this point. <laughs> is it? I was so mad because it went from everyone singing the melody to cutting Cassie. Then it had weird cutaway shots of Anna being like, like sort of like you were <laughs> judging her. Like I was making stink face, which you can tell from the Emma clip. I was like, yeah, for everybody. <laughs> it's so nice. Anyway, I'll show it. So this is the crazy minute. But, and then they have your interview being like, I'm amazing. And so, <laughs> so it's almost like, and then it has me saying like, that's someone's gonna ask for a refund, but I completely was not referring to you. It was all just edited together. Oh, it makes me so mad. Here, let's watch. What you want, I don't get what you want, I don't get what you want is right in front of you, in front of you. I was kind of psyched because everybody was having a really hard time with it, and it kind of felt like a piece of cake for me. That's called fired and ticket refund. <laughs> <laughs> They did you dirty. Oh my goodness. Look, I'll be totally honest. I watched the show once through when it aired, and I have not watched it since. So this is all very entertaining for me. Oh my <laughs> God. Okay, so look at these. These are those. Oh man, they stopped eating your nails, honey. This is, this is when the show first began. Oh my God, all in pink. Now, how come you guys just happen to have, did they give you those pink outfits, or did you all bring pink with you? Uh, that was oh. close. They gave us those. They gave us that oh. that matching set. Remember that was for the yeah, finale, yeah. finale that we recorded, <laughs> where we like appeared. We were like, "Hi, we're here. We're in your final number. Hi." Oh right, it's very amazing race. <laughs> when everyone that's been an amazing race is at the finish line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then this is, I guess, like more the chorus line when you guys were first first auditioning. Yes. Yep. Wow. Wait, Cassie, is that you in first position? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You got a cut, girl. I can't take it. Oh my God, we have so many comments. Hold on. Sorry, I feel so bad that I. Okay, wait. Oh, sorry, I have a million comments. How about this? I think I will actually stay and watch this even if I don't know whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sign. Okay, everyone else is really nice, but that's Always just. Always for entertaining. 
It's just complete confusion. Um, what about this photo? Who are these three clowns? I can't see. Oh, oh that was a the was tour that? opening. When was that? When the tour came through Los Angeles. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. That was the opening night. Babies. Yeah. And I saw you guys in Baltimore with my sister. And what's this picture? Is this Emma? I can't see who this is. Who is that? Oh, that's yeah. me when I got my hair bleached. Natalie, when you had your hair done. That was shocking. Now, Autumn, I remember you kept on a brave face, but you were traumatized, weren't you? Oh, Autumn's hair. My hair, they, it was like they, they fried my hair twice. They, they, dyed, they bleached it twice because they made it a beautiful strawberry blonde. And they were like, no, 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 no. It needs to be platinum. So they stripped it and dyed it again. And then the owner of the salon had been drinking Bellinis and like making the rounds and having just a wonderful time on camera. And I'll never, I'll never forget. He like came up and he was like, I cut hair. I love doing this. And he took a big chunk of my hair and looked at the camera and went, <laughs> somebody should fix this up. Wow. And then I had these like weird chunky bang things and it was so stripped. <laughs> and then after the show, like weeks after the show, I was blow drying my hair with that boyfriend that I didn't marry. Um, we, I was in uh, his apartment blow drying my hair. And I remember he came in the bathroom and he was like, did you cut your hair? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you don't have any hair in the back. It's all on the floor. <laughs> they fried it off. If people don't know, it was one of those stupid reality show things where it's like, since you're going to be legally blonde, you better get used to what it feels like being a blonde in real life. Like it literally made no sense because Laura nope. Bell Bundy was wigged and she's blonde in real life. It made no sense. But they just for reality show reasons, they made you all go blonde. Natalie, you're you're Italian, aren't you? I'm a I'm Jewish. You're Jewish. Okay, us Jews, we have dark hair. Well, thank Remember, you for thinking I was Italian. That's like the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. That's hilarious. Well, Italian or Jew, but like, you know, Adam Pascal is the only blonde Jew in the world and Goldie Hawn. But you and I, we're dark. So, oh, and Emma, Emma, really? Yeah, you're As, a blonde Jew. You're blonde. Hold on. So what about the, any, any Russian Cossacks in the past? I mean, where do you get that blondness from? Polish. It's all, it's Polish. Oh, all right, I'm mm -hmm. jealous. So, so Emma, you weren't traumatized. Rihanna wasn't traumatized. Selena, were you off the show was, at that point? I was they, off. Emma, you were off. Selena, were you off the show then? I was off. I didn't get the, I, I wanted the, uh, you know, makeover. Cause I was like, oh, I'd like to go back to my natural hair color. Right. It'd be nice, but backfired. No. But they, they did not do a good job. <laughs> I I have, mine, mine was the, I, I felt like I was the luckiest of all the girls. Cause I think mine was first cause it was the fastest cause I was already blonde. So they literally just like put some highlights in and I got the first haircut. So he hadn't had too many Bellinis yet. But it was, had, still, it was still a weird haircut because he was like, so I do something a little different. And I was like, okay. And he would like pull my hair up really fast. And then like, like it was like, like, like mid air cut. And then like, you, I literally remember being in the chair being like, this can't be real life. Cause I was like this, like he would just like throw my hair and then like cut. So it was really like choppy. But like layered, so I was like, it's fine. <laughs> I had the reveal where you guys walked in and I, I couldn't hide my state of shock. Hello. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry to the roots. Oh, I know. Wow, I know. amazing. No amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Do the curtains match the wow. carpet? Wow, bye -bye. Wow. that's okay. not cool. No, we're not playing. They kept it. Oh my god! <laughs> Dennis looks actually pissed. He looks like actually like. <laughs> yeah. You are all shocked. So, what was the hardest for you guys? Was it the dancing or the singing? Because there was so much dancing in this damn show. Well, I'm sure Cast and Selena, you guys were like whatever. But what about everybody else? Well, Lauren, you're only 18, but it seemed like you were like a great dancer. Had you trained a lot as a dancer, Lauren? No. <laughs> no, I think everyone on who was there would remember that I was probably the person who was just like obsessively, annoyingly practicing the dance numbers again and again and again. <laughs> 
No, I mean, maybe there's some some dance training from growing up, but definitely not a dancer. The whole thing was hard. That's what I would say. The whole thing was a challenge. Well, you're so funny because now I have a 20 year old daughter. Julie was like eight when we did the show, but now she's 20. Yeah. And it's like the thought of her doing this two years ago when she was 18, it's like, it's crazy. It's hard enough to audition for a show, but to be on camera the whole time, it's like amazing. All you young people survived it. Lauren, where did you come from? Were you from an open call? How'd you get in it on the first place? I was at um, Western Michigan in Kalamazoo at Western University, and I went to an open call in Chicago just on a whim. Who knows how I landed on this show, but one thing led to another, and here I am today. <laughs> wow. Well, here's I have a clip of your amazing dancing. Let's take a gander. No. Yes, no. you didn't I say I can't stand those people that don't want to watch themselves hot and enjoy how talented you are. Let's work it. By the way, it's actually Natalie looking amazing. So I take it back. <laughs> Now I remember, but Lauren, I have, wait, I had you in this amazing military outfit. Hold on, I'll show Natalie first, no. but Lauren, you look amazing. But here's Nat. Let's work it! Okay, Natalie, you're ma you're amazing, but I think the funniest part about that is that is the audio that you hear of every of yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, that part though of the dance was they had us improvise. They like sprung that on us. Those were all at the time I was working for a DJ as a dancer for bar and bat mitzvahs. And I busted out all my bar and bat mitzvah moves in that one moment. That was it. Was that so, last second they threw that at us? Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. it being like all of a sudden it was like, oh yeah, and by the way, you guys have to come up with like a ton of counts of eight, not just like one or two. It was like a ton. And yeah. I was I got such high anxiety. No, I'm literally <laughs> shaking right now thinking about the improv dance part. I forgot until you showed Natalie doing that. I was like, oh my gosh, it's all coming back. Yeah. I just watched myself in the background. I'm literally doing step touch and you can tell in my brain, I'm like, what am I gonna do during the improv? What am I gonna do during the improv? Like, oh, that's your subtext. Oh my God. You know, that's Natalie- Emma, it's interesting because both your dads are in the business. So Natalie, your dad was Squiggy and Laverne and Shirley, hilarious. And Emma, your dad is Jerry Zach's famous director. Did any of your dads be like, do not do this? It's going to be a nightmare? Or were they like, oh my God, this would be great for you? I don't think my dad really understood what it was, <laughs> you know? Right. I, and I still, I don't even know if he still gets it. He's like, oh yeah, that thing. Okay. <laughs> Okay. He's, he's stoned a lot, so you know, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> Hello. And uh, Emma, I guess my invitation. Emma, what about you? What did Jerry oh, say? Um, I don't even think I told him I was doing it. Um, I, you know, I was very kind of like doing my own thing. I, yeah, I, I don't think he had an opinion. Um, I'll ask him tomorrow, actually, if he even <laughs> remembers. I don't think he does. <laughs> okay, I'm retracting that question because both answers not satisfying. I'm so, sorry. Um, <laughs> so did you guys, did everyone remain in the business or have people been like, I'm taking a break? Like, what's the dealio? Because I feel like I haven't seen you in some, Lauren, I know I saw you on Broadway when I saw Natasha Pierre. I was like, oh my God, that's Lauren. And then, but I feel like I haven't seen, like, Natalie, you're in LA. So wait, what are you doing now? <laughs> I have um, no idea. You're like, what happened to you, Natalie? I never saw uh, you since the show. But you didn't come to New you, York. You just disappeared. Uh, no, so I, I stayed in LA, and um, I do mostly like TV. I did a recurring guest star on a show on ABC called The Middle, and I was also recurring on a show with George Lopez. So I've done a lot of like TV. Oh, where's the musical theater? <laughs> I know. I, you know, it's funny. Like I always felt like I loved musical theater so much, but it never loved me back. And so it just never. So you had to settle for amazing TV shows? All right. I know. You just had to settle for doing TV in exactly. LA. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know. And Cass, oh. what about you? I haven't seen you forever. Surely you're dancing up a storm. I'm dancing up so many storms. Um, <laughs> now I go back and forth between LA and New York. Right now I'm in LA. I'm 
Um, but I was in New York for five, six years. I did two Broadway shows, did a national tour, and then landed back here to do TV and film for a while. But did you all, Cassie, did you do Legally Blonde or the show closed? I can't remember. Did you ever wind up going to the show? No. 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 What did you, what shows did you do? We never did a show together, did we? What did you wind up doing? I did Rock of Ages and then I did Matilda. Oh my God. Matilda must have been fun. So fun. You were Mrs. Wormwood, weren't you? Yeah. Is Mrs. Warm? Wait, which one is she? She's not the mother, is she? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did the amazing Leslie Margarita, High Bop Mont, all that crazy dancing. Yeah, she did. She oh, was so have... good. I saw it. That must have been so fun, man. And then Autumn, I saw you on Broadway in the show. Selena, you never did Legally Blonde. I know. Sel I know you quit the business. Sorry, Lena. And um. <laughs> And Tony Rick. Um, Rhiannon, I guess I saw you on tour. Did you ever do the Broadway show or you just went on the tour? I was just on tour. I did the tour for two years. Wow. Followed that through. And then my husband and I, well, at the time he was my boyfriend. We moved to New York together, then got married. And then we're in New York for a little while. And I did like regional stuff there, but then had a baby, moved to LA, and then had some serious postpartum and decided I was not going to go into acting anymore because I didn't like the way I was looking. Um, but then after I got through the postpartum depression and I started to like feel a little bit better, then it was this weird thing where I was all of a sudden like, oh, I can't because my kids need me in this like weird mental way. But the other day, just last month, we were driving and they were filming something and my oldest son looks out and goes, what's that mom? I go, that's a film set. And he goes, who are those people? I was like, those are the actors. I was like, you want to hear something cool? I used to do that. And he was like, you were an actor, mom? And I was like, yes, I was. And he goes, I think you should do that again, mom. I think you should go be an actress again. And I was Aww. like, there it is. There's the permission. <laughs> so, oh, I love um, that. Yeah. So I'm going to strap on my boots. <laughs> go try it again. Gives me a lot of stress. <laughs> Put on your stilettos and go to Cobblestone in Brooklyn and dance because that was a fun yes, episode. Because and that's then, how you do it. That's, that's how it does. And Emma, I know from your incredible clear skin, you're doing yoga now nonstop. Am I correct? <laughs> no, I am a soul cycle instructor. Oh, I knew it was something exercise wise because I just see no. Now, you were inspired because of the episode where I put you on the bike, I assume? Completely. Um, completely. And I've actually been doing it for nine years. I just had my nine year anniversary and oh it's God. like the longest relationship I've ever had. And, uh, it's amazing. I found like my one woman show that actually pays me well, like better than Broadway ever did. And I'm obsessed because you know, I'm on, I'm on Peloton like every day. So like those teachers, I know, I knew you'd have a, well, listen, we'll put those back on. <laughs> Do it in my house and I'll follow you. But it's like, they're like celebrities to me. So I'm sure like your clients are like obsessed with you. I have, you know, honestly, I'm so lucky. I have like amazing, amazing writers and it's been nine years. We we're in like a, we're a family, you know? Um, um, so I'm very, very lucky. What kind of music play is it? Only Broadway? Um, so I've done, <laughs> a, I've done a couple of Broadway rides, but like only because people like, force me to do it. Otherwise I'm like, oh, cause everything is, it's, everything's like a same rhythm, you know? And it's, it's not actually as easy as one would think to do a uh, Broadway ride. So I let, I like to play a lot of like old school music. Um, yes, that's back, right. um, you know, a lot of rock and roll. I don't love a lot of current music. Um, that's all Peloton is. Well, so, wait, by the way, why the dishing of Peloton? What the hell is it between Peloton and SoulCycle? Let's be honest. Huge difference, huge. I think it's soul cycle. It's called just pedal. No, no. It's Let me called hear it. pedal to the rhythm of the music in soul cycle. Yeah, but in pe at pe no Peloton, it's all you like sit down, it's all sitting down, it's all about like the numbers. Soul cycle is like you're doing it to the beat of the music, you're out of the saddle, you're dancing. It's like very, very Broadway. <laughs> sorry, that's my dog growling at me. Oh, I'm sorry for sorry she's, for pleasing she's pissed. Peloton. She's, <laughs> she's pissed. She's like, okay, that's so my mama's blood. blood. Hello. Hi, yes, baby. Okay, two things I have to say. Um, A, oh my God, I got the donations. I forgot to totally send. So I'm going to send you donations right now. But whose phone do I have readily available that I could just send this to? I just was texting with you, Selena. So let me, there you are. 
Do you have your phone? Can you read these donations, please? Donate at starsinthehouse.com. It all goes to the Actors Fund to help anybody in the arts. And then forward your receipt to donations at starsinthehouse.com. And one of these contestants will read. All right, Luke from Sydney, Australia. He wow. says, should I say the amount? I don't need to say the amount, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter. No, no, I'll leave the amount. We, we're just grateful for the money. Hey, I was just in New York City studying musical theater, and I'll be back next year. All the best. Thank you, Luke. Um, yeah, Luke. Yeah, and Luke. from Yeah, Anne from Michigan donated. Uh, Mark from Massachusetts donated. Mark said, Seth, as always, thanks. Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then Teresa from Brooklyn uh, thank you, Stars in the House, for these amazing videos. I binge watched all of ep all the episodes of Legally Blonde, the musical, The Search for the for the Next Elle Woods. She actually put the musical The Search for Elle Woods, but it was the musical The Search for the Next Elle Woods. It was uh, the worst title. <laughs> the other day, no shame, no shame. Woo! Thank I you. Can't. All right, so Kat, I begged everyone to sing. Cass, you're gonna haul out a song for us. Am I correct? Yeah, I think I'm gonna sit and sing it. Okay, should I take the ladies off screen? Or should I do the ladies on screen? Whatever you'd like. Also, I think it, it will be fun for us all. Um, my track, it ends like seven times. So we'll just see what comes out. There's like seven fake finishes of this Sounds song. Sounds horrible. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody. Actually, everyone mute yourselves except for a cast. That way it won't disturb the sound. I'll take my ass off screen. And uh, let's see if uh, Bernie Telsey likes you. God bless. I was feeling done in, couldn't win. I'd only ever kissed before. What? It's true. I thought there's no use getting into heavy petting. It only leads to trouble and seat wetting. Now all I want to know is how to go. I tasted blood and I want more, more, more. more. I'll put up no resistance. I want to stay the distance. I've got an itch to scratch. I need assistance. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Then if anything grows while you pose, I'll oil you up and rub you down. Down, down. And that's just one small fraction of the main attraction. You need a friendly hand, and I need action. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Creature of the night. Creature of the night. Creature of the night. The night. Creature of <laughs> creature of the night. Oh, that was amazing. So was, I mean, first of all, that was an F sharp with vibrato. Oh, thank you. And I agree with Sophia, who asks this question: Why you gotta slay so hard? <laughs> I mean, I'm sweating, but thank you. That's I appreciate that. Oh, so good. Okay, I have some more clips to show. Oh, we gotta. Okay, so first we gotta talk about this craziness when they literally. We're going to make you guys write out a list like, who's the ugliest? Who's the fattest? 
Okay, let's watch that, then we'll discuss it. Remember this cray crayness? Who is the weakest singer, who is the weakest dancer, who is the weakest actor, who would most likely sabotage another girl to get the part, which girl would, should have already been sent home, and who is going to win this competition? Yeah, looking at the questionnaire, we were incredibly angry, basically asking us a variety of awful questions. And especially like after we've all had like such a rough day anyways, this is like, this, this, is, this, is, this is what makes the business sickening. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Did anyone else just feel like that? Like sleep back up and everyone just be like, ah. Uh. No. <laughs> it's so devastating it's i love it you guys well really autumn you're really the one who took it in your own hands and it's so great i'll, I'll show you the solution because you i see you sort of thinking it and you're like i'm probably real are you the oldest one there i can't tell but you very seem like the den mother at this moment maybe you're like a year older yeah like, I'm, definitely I'm, like, I'm the older yeah we there's like yeah we were there's a wide range of ages <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> but look at this. Absolutely not in the spirit of Al. <laughs> Hold on, before we do it, I just love that you're mulling, mulling, and then you take control. Here we go. I just want to, I love the face. Absolutely not in the spirit of Al. <laughs> First of all, I want a pen to rewrite these questions. We're going to play the game, we're going to play it our way. This is a competition in the spirit of Al Woods. So I just decided that there was a way to handle this that was so much more positive. We're putting most improved singer. I think that's a compliment. That is not saying that you're bad now. It's not saying you were bad before. It's saying that you've shown growth since you were here. Who's going to win? Who's shown the most growth? So smart. I'm so proud of you guys. Did the producers have an S fit on them? Or are they like, no, you're not allowed? Oh, they did. I see a lot of nodding. Oh yeah, no, they were not happy. And they kept telling, they, they kept saying, no, no, you have to do it. This is a challenge and you can, you know, like do it or leave. And I was like, okay, we'll all leave. Yeah. Like, what, what are you going to do? You're going to let us do it our way or you're, this is, this is not the message that any of us want to put forward. This isn't in the spirit of Elle Woods. It's not in the spirit of the show. It's not your, this is a show for girls, for like young yeah. women. And this is what you want to No. Oh, I'm a visitor. Hang on. Come in, buddy. If the show, if the show was like, uh, if they were casting like, let's say Regina George in Mean Girls, that would work. <laughs> but they were casting Elle Woods, and the whole spirit of Elle Woods is completely opposite. I don't think that they knew. I don't think that they knew the property that they had, like the pro like the uh, mm -hmm. like the Legally Blonde property, like. It was just like they were always wanting us to be L Woods, like living, breathing B L Woods, and then they do stuff that was like the total opposite of yeah. what it would be, and it was just because they wanted us to be dramatic, you know? They wanted a drama and they wanted us to hate each other, and instead we all loved each other and banded say, together. Like, what was your experience working with me? Because they they didn't really make me be mean i guess i want to be, be sort of stassy but like what was your experience working with me coaching you guys you were like the safe one. you were like the safe one exactly. oh, thanks. <laughs> i feel like we all were like oh seth we he's on our side <laughs> i feel like huh. you and dennis and mark were like our like like little like little like safe people that we kind of clung to because you were working with us so closely and it wasn't like you would go and disappear and like talk and then like come back and then be, be weird. Like I kind of felt like the producers or whatever would be like, hold on just a second. And then we'd like disappear and like chat and come back and they're like, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. And it's like, what's going on? <laughs> like, but I felt like you guys were very open and like be like, okay, sit tight. And you also didn't always know what was going on. Like, I felt like it was kind of nice because I felt like we were all in it together. <laughs> I mean, I was really coaching you guys. Like, I wanted you all to win. So I was just doing my best with all of you guys. Do you think that you guys learned, like, there was so much manipulation and craziness, but do you think you learned something from doing the competition? Do you think you got better? And if so, how did you get better? I'm curious. Uh, backbone. Oh, for we sure. Were, we were faced with so much shit. And, and, and it wasn't even the end of it. The show was just the tip of the iceberg. Oh. It was when the show aired 
that, you know, some of us were bullied beyond belief online. And <sighs> it was it was a lot to deal with, especially when it was something that was so new. So, you know, online bullying is now something that is recognized. But but then it wasn't. And mm -hmm. these people would say the worst things to us. And uh, it, it was tough. So it was a long it was a long drawn out kind of hell. But, you know, I got much thicker skin and oh. I learned uh, I learned a lot that way and also watching it I learned a lot about myself as like just like what I'm portrayed as in the exterior and oh. yeah and uh and it was just learning about myself not that I needed to change anything um maybe I needed to change like my positivity or like how I looked at the world so I was a little bit more grateful and positive with what was going on in the world but other than that like it was like, oh, that's who I am, and okay, <laughs> you know, all right. How about getting like you know from being coached by Mark or you know being with Orfe? Did you guys you know what did you learn about performing? Anything like oh now I or how to audition? Did you guys learn anything from that? Because I got annoyed at Bernie because with Autumn, like you were like I haven't slept and all the steps. It's like it can't be about not sleeping, not knowing the steps. I'm like, but. It is like, that's just reality. Like you're allowed to be like, I haven't slept in all this. Like, I don't know why you're not allowed to say that in audition. Like you are allowed to say that. But anyway, what, what did you guys learn about auditioning? I feel like I was super new to the business because I literally graduated college in December and then was auditioning in January. I think we started filming end of January, February. So I was like very new, very green. I had never done any sort of professional theater. I'd never done summer stock. I had never done regional theater. I was very new. And I, in fact, some of the people that I met, I did not even know. And I should have known them. Um, and oh, I just remember, know. like, there were moments where I thought, this is how they really do it. Like, this must be what a real Broadway audition is like. And then they kept saying, like, this is how it is. And I was like, oh, well, then this is how it is. I guess I can't complain that I'm tired or that I'm, I've done these things. And then, like, I had to really learn about how I audition, um, how to audition under stress, and also relearn what an audition is really like. And now I do still have problems sometimes, like, when I'm auditioning, I can just feel it, like, take over. I don't know, like that, like, fear of auditioning because that's kind of what – it, the reality show gave me like succeeding is like, oh, I'm going to almost make it. And then I'm not going to like actually get it. You know what I mean? It's a weird, it's a very weird thing, but like mentally having to overcome that every audition is something that, you know, I don't know when that'll go away, <laughs> but it is definitely like the, the moments that I find I get things and just get to perform I perform far better than I've ever performed at an audition. I'm a terrible auditioner. <laughs> but the most, I interview like the biggest stars all the time on my radio show. And I'd say 99% always say I'm the worst at auditions. So literally the highest level people hate auditioning. It's I, would say, I mean, Autumn, do you remember like the, the talk I gave you about auditioning during, during um, the audition? Oh, you do? Yes. I mean, you were always, you were always, you said something to me that was like, you have to, um, cause I had major confidence issues with th through the whole show. I just imposter syndrome to the millionth degree. And I remember I was just like, I couldn't learn a melody. I was just having like mm. trouble. And you were like, what is your deal? And you, and you just put it in perspective. You were like, this is a show. This is a performance. This whole thing is a, this is a curated specific performance that they are going to manipulate that they want you to manipulate and you have to stay true to yourself and you have to be creative and you have to you know what are you trying to say you just have to stay stick to the story stick to your you know what your message is and you just sort of you just kept bringing me back to ironically bringing me back to reality <laughs> in this crazy fucking circumstance and you know, you just, you told me you were like, you can't control what the outcome is gonna be. You just have to control what you're gonna be proud of. And you just, mm -hmm. you just do something that you're gonna be proud of. What do you do? Go do it. And I, I remember because, away you, from you. because you were so good, we would coach you be so good. And then you would do the audition for them and you oh. would always listen. And I, I remember I said to you, I was like, what is the deal? And you said, I, 
I associate auditioning with someone taking something away from me, me asking permission to be allowed to perform yes. and then them telling me I can't perform. And that's when I said, the audition is your performance. I was like, yes. you can just, the audition, is, I get to perform. That's it. There's no other result except for I love this song. I now get to sing it. And you were sort of treating it as like, may I sing it one day? But like, you are singing it. Yeah, so that was sort of, yes. that's the most important thing. So you guys were also a good way. I could have more clips. This is the final, this is when you guys made the final two. And you did that, I have to show you this. So you did the walk out on stage. It was you and Bailey walking out on the oh. stage. Standing on the stage at the Palace Theater was 10 times better than I would have ever imagined it. It was just beautiful. It was just an absolute amazing feeling to be looking up with the light shining on you. It just, it felt so surreal. I could not at this point think of anything more magical than taking my very first steps at the Palace Theater. <laughs> My nieces were so obsessed that when I brought them on a Broadway stage for the first time, they had to recreate your pose. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was the zombie oh arms. Oh my God. I'm so like, so, who the hell, oh, wait, we have more donations. Hold on. Oh wait, Yay. what does pinning mean? Oh, there it is. Okay, so hold on. Let me text it to, hey, Lauren, can I text it to you? Yes, girl. Okay, hold on. Hold on, queen. Mm -hmm. Lauren. Um, there you are. Yeah. Oh, two set. Wait, I know. Why is my sister telling me that? Oh, I sent you two sets. Oh, right, well, anyway, I just sent you. Take a gander at it. And read Take a gander. Oh my gosh, you sent me four people. Yes, wait. Ooh, I can read all of them. Kyle from Connecticut. I am donating because Autumn should have won the opportunity to go on his out before the show closed. I'm staying out of it. I'm an impartial judge. We have Rob. Judge. Rob with two B's from Pennsylvania. He loved the show and he loved going to the reunion concert at 54 Below and seeing so many of us again, which was really special for all of us who participated. Uh, We've got Cindy from California. She says, I listened to Cassie sing the phone book. <laughs> and last we have Clarissa from Toronto. I was obsessed with the MTV series, The Search for the All Woods. It was my first introduction to musical theater and what made me fall in love with musical theater and Broadway. Thank you for bringing the girls back together again. Yay. Oh, Yay. It's so hilarious. There are like hundreds of people watching because I see the numbers and I don't know where this woman is watching from, but she just wrote, why are there only 20 people watching? It's like, they're so not because I can see the numbers. I don't know what device she's watching on, but it's so not true. Maybe okay, she's hold on. really popular and usually like 50 people are texting her, but only 20. I, I'm staying out of it. So then, so for people that don't know, the final two was between Bailey and Autumn. And then you guys had to do, uh, let me just see if I have it here. Hold on, I have this clip that I'm obsessed with uh, on stage. So what is this? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, this is you, I think, being... Oh, yeah, this is your your whole confidence stuff. I think the clip of that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's my fault. I was totally overwhelmed today. I... So many times today. Moving sets. Costumes. High heels. Slippery floor. A full Broadway cast that already knows this show. I, I mean, the logistics of this are astounding. No, I love you guys! So, first of all, was I wearing a wig is the first question. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> what was it like to actually getting to be in the Broadway stage and rehearse it for the first time? I mean, it was it was um it was surreal cuz it wasn't it, it was like a it was a fake put in. And you know, if you're if you've done theater, you know what a put in is and there's a lot of care and, you know, consideration that goes into it and that was sort of the exact opposite. It was just kind of like, go here, don't miss this and you know, it was the whole day. I also like from, I knew that it wasn't going my way. I, I knew it from the very beginning, like the way we were treated when we were rehearsing, she got hair and makeup done. I got an old understudy wig that was like sewn into the back of my hair and you no, know, like four minutes before I was on, they were like, you don't have makeup on. And I was like, yes, yeah, someone's coming. Right. And they were like, no, <laughs> you know, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> 
Um, so it was a very, I think it was like so bittersweet. And I remember they flew our parents in just <gasps> for the day. I... And so our parents surprised us. And my parents are so sweet, but they were like, what is going on? This doesn't feel right. <laughs> like they knew something was weird. Um, uh, so I don't know. It was, it was so bittersweet because I, I knew that to my friends and family and viewers, this was my first time, you know, on a Broadway stage and this could, you know, be it. And it was, you know, I, I, I don't know, I guess when I look back on it, it was almost like I felt, I almost felt more the responsibility of it, of like, I'm going to, I'm going to dive in. I, I owe it to myself and to people watching this to make this a great experience, but it was not. <laughs> and, and where were you ladies? Were you guys all hiding in the theater beforehand? Yeah, I do have to say, I'm still haunted by this today. So at the end, we all turned around and we're singing, no, we love you guys. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you guys. And we have to like do this looking thing at each other. And they pulled us all back in to do the final scene. They had just told Autumn she was not Elle Woods. She comes up, literally stands right next to me. And we start going. We start filming Bailey sing so much better. And wow. I remember... I'm not, I still get emotional thinking about this, but I remember looking at her on, we love you guys or something. I can't even remember the word, but I looked at her and made eye contact. And I'll tell you what, that is still the face that like haunts me from that reality show. Just like the heartbreak. And like, I just wanted to like stop everything and just hug you. And I'm like, we've got to keep going. And then I was like trying not to cry. It was, it was you held yourself together so well girl because that was not fair they did not even give you a minute to like breathe or like do anything beforehand so oh, sorry, I'm, my son wants his button down shirt off sorry oh, <laughs> go back out um but i just remember like you didn't even have time to like stop and take a second before doing that and like you did amazing. You were smiling. Like, even when I looked at you, she was still smiling, ladies and gentlemen. She did not look like she was not smiling, but I will tell you, those eyes told me everything. And like, huh. you're just an awesome woman. You're amazing. I love you. You're awesome women. This is, I mean, this is the thing that lasts is like, it's, you know, it's just all, we 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 never gave in to the reality chaos we never gave in to the cattiness or backstabbing or anything like we really were a unit we really had each other's backs and i think we were and still are continually rooting for each other and that's that's something that's so special about theater especially yes this, that is theater and it's know? like that's crazy to be like you're not casting this broadway show and now being the ensemble immediately for the person who did get the part that is yeah. so Mean and, and nothing like probably is Lauren. When you finally got to Broadway, were you like, "Oh my God, this is so much easier than I ever thought it would be"? <laughs> it like I think, I think every audition after the show, I was like, "Oh, it's not that horrifying." I mean, auditions are still horrifying, but there's nothing like you know doing one take in front of a camera and then having that be broadcast and to everyone you know and love. Like the stakes are so different. Yeah. Do you guys remember we would go to Amanda's house and? watch the show each week when we were in New York, right? Because Emma, you were there in Autumn, who I guess all the New Yorkers would come. Selena, did you come? I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You were there? I went to the finale, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember that was so crazy. All right, so wait, we have a couple more things we have to do before we finally go. So one of the things we have to talk about is Autumn's vomiting. So oh, no. that, let us, let's watch the, let's watch what a quote unquote happened, then we'll talk about it. Strong suit. It can't be about excuse. So by the way, they're giving her notes. She's literally like, I haven't slept. I haven't slept, and I didn't have enough time to learn the dance. And of course, the old excuse of like, what's your excuse? You're not allowed to have an excuse. I don't know what makes me crazy. Here we go. Strong suit. It can't be about excuses. I didn't know the choreography, or I'm tired, or whatnot. You just got to, you know, hit it out of the ballpark. Oh. When I saw Autumn run off the stage, I got really nervous. I didn't know if she was scared and just got too nervous. I didn't know if she was sick. I had no idea what was going on. Charlie went. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> lies. Lies. So, 
They make it look like Autumn's getting bad feedback and she's so devastated, she flees and throws up. So what actually happened, the throwing up was hours before she got the bad feedback. So that morning, because they, they took such good care of the cast, they left out a three-day-old yogurt. <laughs> like, right? Yes. So Autumn was like munching on an old yogurt and then like noon or something, she's like, I have to go throw up and she threw up. So then she gets these bad notes and they're like, oh, we have a good idea. We'll literally make the vomiting after the bad notes, but like, oh, but we're not allowed to follow Autumn into the bathroom. Let's get a sound assistant to pretend to be her and kneel in the stall and we'll those film her shoes. shoes. I know, whose shoes were those? And the feet I were going like this. <laughs> I'm throwing up. <laughs> we have to watch it again because it's crazy. The lies. <laughs> it can't be about excuses. I didn't know the choreography or I'm tired and whatnot. You just gotta, you know, hit it out of the ballpark. Oh. When I saw Autumn run off the stage, I got really nervous. I didn't know if she was scared and just got too nervous. I didn't know if she was sick. I had no idea what was going on. Charlie went. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess the feet weren't doing that, but that's how but we all saw it though. That's why yes. we're not good witnesses at a murder trial. And then literally <laughs> Who in their right mind has a one inch character shoe? <laughs> right? Who owns that? <laughs> Who, oh, and the thing I love shoes. I would never wear those. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was the biggest insult. And then, that, the, and then this is the commercial break, the lies. And the pressure becomes too much for Autumn to take. <laughs> the pressure of three-day-old yogurt. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Awful. Oh, and God. those glasses Telsey was wearing, oh, my God. Even, even <laughs> that's devastating. <laughs> oh, um, my gosh. Oh, my God. Cool. Okay, yeah. so before we go, Natalie Lander, you have the nicest microphone. Therefore, you better be singing us something. Oh, no. <laughs> That was that the that's what happens when you have the best microphone. You have to sing. <laughs> Dang. Um. Well, I, I I I don't know which one. I was gonna have a vote of which song I should sing. Ooh. Okay. Because okay. you know I like I usually go comedy because that's kind of where my safe my safety is. Um. But then I thought maybe something a little different. So either they just keep moving the line or screw loose from Crybaby. Oh, do moving the line. I love moving the line. All right. Okay. It's, just, it's so great. I'm removing myself. Okay. Everyone, everyone mute your asses. Oh yeah. I mean, we it's could do a, we could do a duet and stuff. Like I'm totally okay with that. No, dear. Okay, fine. Um, ooh. oh, okay. All right. I have to hold my speaker next to me because <laughs> it's weird. Okay. The field was bright with clover, I saw the finish sign. I started as a rover, and then victory was mine. I thought the race was over, but they just keep moving the line. They cheered at my persistence, but prayed for my decline. The path of least resistance led to Hollywood and Vine. I tried to go the distance, but they just keep moving the line. I jumped all of the hurdles to break out of the pack. I started on the outside and then hit the inside track. I left the other Phillies back at the starting gate, was ready on my mark. I had to set to hurry up and wait. So talent and ambition won me the chance to shine. I aced the big audition, but it's raining on cloud nine. Can't beat the competition, cause they just keep moving the line I handled every corner each bump along the track 
And when I saw the ribbon well, there was no turning back. I won the photo finish. I posed for all the men, but before I got my trophy, well, the race began again. So I made friends with rejection. I've straightened up my spine. I'll change each imperfection till it's time to drink the wine. Let's toast to resurrection, cause they just keep moving the Wait, Natalie, that was another another F sharp. You and Cassie both hit F sharps tonight. It's crazy. What's happening? Go Cassie. <laughs> Girls. Okay, so before we go, first, did you guys watch when the show was on? Were you watching my deconstructions on YouTube? <laughs> I hope I didn't make any of you guys mad. I thought they were hilarious. Okay, I'll just show you one. This is me busting this is Selena. This is me busting you <laughs> when your voice cracked. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> If there's anything you learn from this music episode is that you must vocally warm up before you complain. I can barely relearn the material you gave us the day before. Selena, you gave us the day before. 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 Day before. <laughs> 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 it was so stupid. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Don't let me do anything. What, what so note good. was that? You It's an A flat. <laughs> you had to mix it. It was too high for you. An A flat. You're like, I can't. You know. <laughs> Actually, there's an octave above that. There needs to be a musical about the reality show about the reality musical show. <laughs> That's yeah. not a musical. It's got to happen. Like all the real stuff that happened. It was. It was so fun. You know that final day. Because I had a miss, I was working one of my Broadway cruises, and that's why I said no to doing the gig in the first place. And Amanda Lippitz, of course, talked me into it. Where I had, I basically missed the first three days of my cruise. But right after you guys performed, I had to run to the airport, so I didn't see the final reveal or anything. I had to run to the airport, so I missed it. But I was watching. This is the final thing I'll show. This is Autumn. You're I, that crazy E flat you do at the end of Oh my God, you guys. Was that even in the score? Oh my God, you got that's no, what I thought. This is what I was telling you is you like, I was like, this is not, this is for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to sing this the way I want to sing it. It's so good. Your placement's amazing on it. Everyone watch this. Oh, this was so great. Here we go. This is the final performance. And this is when you didn't get it. I guess that's no. fair. Uh, <laughs> here we go. He wanted his pride. So pride is more Every time he looks at me, it's totally proposal eyes. Oh my God, you guys! Oh, oh my God, oh my God, you guys! This one's perfect, and it's just my size. Sea dreams really do come true. You never have to compromise. Oh my God! 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 love in their faces for you yeah Ooh. jerry jerry's like melting for you <laughs> although who knows who that could have been they could have been watching <laughs> that is true that, could have been a break that was from like, weeks ago coming in and they were like oh my ruben 
They were totally watching like a, a bootleg of a Vita from the 80s. Um, <laughs> all right. In conclusion, you guys had the best time seeing you again. I want to make sure I, I – there's so many nice things you guys sent here. Let me just see if I miss anything that I want to just show. Hold on. So this is – is this you? Wait. Oh, that's Natalie. <laughs> Is I the only one who sent photos? <laughs> What's this? That's Nat. me. <laughs> Nat. <laughs> you guys, you're such lazy ass, and I begged everyone to send. Nat. Oh, Nat. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, there we go. I sent that one too. Oh, Wait, oh my God, my hand is on Lauren's yes, breath. That's right. That's yes, that sounds about right. I made out with everyone, everyone. Wait, what is this from? That was, that was back to the finale. That was the last finale. day. That's from my picture roll. Uh, that is, yeah. And then this is you guys. Cute. Oh, It's a dog pile. You can see we all really loved each other so yeah. much. Yeah. It's a, pu a puppy so pile. I remember being so excited to see everyone that day. Like they brought everyone back together and I was like, oh, this is the best. And then Cassie, you sent your headshot. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you're muted, but I still like your sass. I'm mute yourself, lady. And oh, then I said it's actually current. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it. And then this oh, this is you, Cass. So <laughs> You're dressed a little bit like a wearing so many you guys so I watched it the other like the other day, I mean like last year, and the fashion that we had, guys. <laughs> it was so good. It has yeah. to be you, it has to be guys, it. For, nobody, if they it, oh, for the musical, nobody, nobody. for the musical of the reality show, they have to recreate all our looks. <laughs> oh yes. Awful. You know, they my, were gems. But by the way, you're dressed like El Gallo from the Fantastics, Cassie. Just FYI. Big <laughs> belt. That big belt. Right? <laughs> my, so my niece, who was like 10 years old, was so obsessed with the show. She'd never taken dance class, but for her birthday, she was obsessed with learning the Shake Your Junk dance. Totally appropriate. She's in Yeshiva. And Dennis was so sweet. Dennis literally met her in a studio for her birthday, taught her. <gasps> oh, my God. So oh, oh my gosh. And the final shot I have is I guess when you guys were all auditioning to be on Desperate Housewives. I'm also uh, 20 times larger than all of you. I'm like a giant <laughs> compared to everyone else. And actually, so why do I have so many on? Wait, Selena, those are the shoes that Autumn was wearing to vomit. Hold on. <laughs> Selena was the foot model for that. <laughs> I had to that. audition. <laughs> you got to cut. Um, all right, guys. I agree with Clarissa. This was amazing. Oh, um, amazing. Amazing, as we say, as my, my old chestnut. All right. Thank you all for being here. So great to catch up again. Thank I'm a you. Roll. Thank I hope you guys you. all come back to Broadway when Broadway comes back. Whenever the hell that is. And any other announcements? Anything coming up? Anyone want to announce anything that I'm missing? I'm going to be on this. Anybody? My show, uh, season two of Snowpiercer, is airing January 25th on yes. TNT. Yes, Queen. Any, and, any belting? Uh, yeah, I do sing. And, uh, and um, also, I've been doing these virtually live concerts every week. I'm taking November off, but every week I do um, my own concerts via Zoom, and uh, it's all by request. So request tickets go on sale, and then I do full request show. It's really fun. Um, I apologize for not giving you a taste, but I am not in my studio, which... Is it in a different place? But uh, I request. Oh, I request. Oh my God, you guys! And okay. Emma, how, how are we supposed <laughs> to get a rock version of all the Legally Blonde songs? Yes. Yes. Oh, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Yes. I can't Emma, how do I take your Soul Cycle? Don't I do I have to show up in your? Don't I have to show up in your actual class with a mask on? Yeah. So we have um, actually outdoor uh, spaces right now um, oh, at Hudson do. Yards, um, uh, Tribeca Rooftop. And um, one in Brooklyn Heights. And I was teaching at Hudson Yards, but I am taking a little leave of absence because I'm pregnant. That's what I want you to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. 
It's very <laughs> early. So I've been going through IVF for like two years. So. Wow. Congratulations. It's not easy. You're a warrior. I, I don't know if it's you were allowed to say. That's what I was hinting at. I'm like, any announcements someone wants to make? That's what I was hinting. I don't know if you were allowed. I'm so glad. That's yeah, why I have my fan going because I'm like sweating constantly. And it, if it's a boy, it's Warner. And if it's a girl, it's L. That's so sweet. <laughs> Anybody? No way. Um, all right, guys. Brava. So great seeing you again. I'm going to run my credits. One, two, three credits. And I guess I'll... I'll play you guys out. What the hell should I play? All I know is Autumn's song. Broadcast one, two, three, end.